What is up, YouTube? Lazy Lama here, and here we are back with some antimatter dimensions once again, grinding along here. Uh, it's been a while. I've been really slacking on the series. Um, I've got a lot going on. I've actually been having some issues with my computer. Um, I've been obviously focusing on my Cook Heroes 2 stuff with YouTube and streaming a ton. Um, we actually might be getting partnered really soon over on Twitch, so um, I have that kind of going for me. I've been really trying to like keep consistent streams going up over there. Again, my power supply is kind of starting to crap out a little bit, so I actually got a new one coming in. Um, but uh, yeah, so anyways couple things. This last episode, I totally forgot I could still buy more of these. Um, we will buy more of these. Again, I don't think this goes away when I break infinity, but my plan is to break infinity today. We're going to do that before we buy any of these, but I would have gotten so more, many more of these if I broke these. I mean, you can see how many <laughs> infinity, infinity points I have. I mean, it just sits for days sometimes. I just let this thing go. You can see how fast we're beating these these worlds. It's kind of crazy. Uh, but anyways, if we come to upgrades, or, sorry, auto buyers, if we just can increase this a couple times, there we go. We broke infinity. Uh, oh! It's literally just another... Oh. Okay. So I want to save some to buy this. I mean, we can buy this one easy. I should probably buy that before I spend too much. And I can't buy that. But okay. So we got that pretty good. So right now we're getting... We're getting a... Um, what does it say? Which one of these is it? It's this one, right? No. Does it say? Oh, it's just this. Does it not say where my multiplier is? I think it's eight times, right? Because it doubles. Oh, no. It's current. That is your current. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought that was what you get next. So we're at 16 times. Uh, so this is going to go up a lot faster than what it just was going up. So the break infinity thing. Oh, we can actually do it. Cost multipliers. Post infinity will begin increasing faster. But will gain infinity. Hmm. Wait, what? What does that do? Power up all dimensions based on the total antimatter. Did I push this? I'm confused. What did that do? Cost multipliers. Multipliers post. I'm afraid to push that. One minute. One minute. Oop, I keep doing things. Let me get a quick save and a quick export. Cool. So now I have that in case this is bad. In case this is very bad. It wasn't very bad. Did it cost my multipliers though? Like, or like these multipliers? I don't know. Upgrades? It didn't cost that. We still have all this. I don't even know what they used. Oh, so fixing it, so it gets rid of, are we going slower or something? What is this coming up? I can't even read what this is. Big crunch for, <laughs> I should just stop these real quick. Um, so if I save up enough... Okay. I'm going to fix that for now. Someone... I'm going to have to look into that. I'm going to save. Someone will probably explain that to me. But anyways, power up all dimensions based on the total antimatter uh, produced currently. Okay. I don't know if these are worth it. Let me, I guess, buy all of this first. I think buying max of these is probably what I want to do. Maximize my runs. What do these goes up to? Oh god, we're not gonna be able to do that. They get expensive. Oh no, we can still. I forgot how much we really had. Oh yeah, we're not gonna be able to max these out. Is this even going down? Oh, I'm getting multipliers at this point. Whoops. Bulk purchase. I forgot I went to bulk purchase. So we already have these as fast as they can go, right? And this one is just the bulk purchases. So these go infinite times. I'm spending a lot here. Actually, I could probably buy. I'm not really thinking about it. We could buy another one of these. Red means you can buy. It. Yeah, I, I, for some reason, for some reason, I didn't think I had enough for that. Crap. So now I bought these at all weird, weird numbers. How much faster am I going? It's really hard to tell what's going on. We probably need to increase all the bulks to be similar, though. I probably messed up. Let's get them all to the 128 at least. That's all, that's, I guess, affordable. I, I don't know. I'm probably spending these in a really inefficient manner, and you guys probably get mad at me. I just leveled these up way higher than the rest. But, um, okay, so is it doing anything different? I don't think so. Like, I don't, I'm a little confused, because I was not really explained to what I'm doing in here. Power up dimensions based on the total antimatter produced. Currently, so now we're getting, oh, wow, that's much faster. That looks like it speeded, sped it up a lot. I'm breaking infinity. So, 
Oh, I get it. What am I doing? So what I need to do... Ah, oh, man, that just occurred to me. That took me a second. So if I turn off my big crunch... Look. We can now go much higher. I don't forget why I had 32 in here. So if we can get up to that... We unlock a new dimension. So we're getting ninth dimensions? So the per minute's coming down right now. So current of IP to wait until reset. So if I did like a hundred and I set it on, it's gonna save up to a hundred. That's probably not smart though, because it's dropping. So I'm assuming this is still a good thing to do. So is that a hundred? So it should yeah, I say it should go now. So what if I set it like it gets up to like ninety six really fast. Let me just set it. Instead of the ninety six. So we go to ninety six and then it should go. Is that faster? I don't know. I feel like it's faster just to do it the way I had it. Oh man, I'm lost. I am 100% lost. Completely lost in what I'm doing right now. Uh, pass infinities. So these are taking. That one took 30 seconds. Wait. Pass infinities, yeah. Why are they taking 30 seconds before? They weren't taking 30 seconds. Oh, when I was doing, sorry, that was when I was doing the testing. So right now they're taking like six seconds, basically. And we're getting six seconds to get just under a hundred of them. Okay. So six seconds to get a hundred. And if I go fix my infinity, I'm, it's got to be faster. And if we come in, um, I always lose it. Oh, this is so much faster. You think we... What is the point of the breaking infinity? Or am I just setting it wrong? So in here, do I still come and set my auto buyers? If it's going, we can get up to 90 ridiculously fast. So if I set it and we just go to 90, 90 comes super fast. We could probably even do 90. It looks like it's still going on 91. Um, so now if we come to statistics. Ah, okay. So now we're doing, that makes sense. So you set it to a lower number where you're getting, like, you just have to find a good balance. So now we're getting every second and a half. So before it was basically, well, every second, I can't scroll down. I think it was every second we were getting. Um, was it every second? I'll go back and check. We'll compare it again. But I think it was 0.800, if I'm not mistaken. So basically, we'll round it to every second. Because basically two of those equals one of these. It's actually a little more. Um, we're only getting 32, so that would only be 64 compared to the 91 we're currently getting. And as we get faster and faster, we can probably keep going, and eventually we can unlock a new dimension, which um, I'm assuming would just allow me to build up to things faster to get higher infinities, because that would produce more eighth dimensions um, rapidly fast, I think. Also, as far as the achievements goes, I have not really been focused on them. Someone told me I had to do one of the ones down here. I forget the name of it. Yeah, I think this one. No. I forget which one it was. There was one that someone was telling me to do because I couldn't do it later. It was around this area somewhere. Do you even have time, bro? No. I don't know, but it was really difficult. I'm not really focusing on the achievements right now, and I don't know if I should be. Um, one of them, like, it was to, like, get it to where, like, my multiplier is, like, for 8 was higher than 7, and 7 was higher than 6, and so on. I couldn't get it. I tried it in a couple different challenges. I still couldn't get it. I don't know if I'm already too past the point of doing it, but I'm not really too worried about it, I guess. So breaking infinity bar never fills up. And honestly, actually, now that I can break infinity, I could maybe actually do that multiplier thing, to be completely honest. It was really hard to do before because I kept getting to the point where I'd break my, like, I'd, I'd get the big crunch and I couldn't go on. But now I can get by the big crunch. So again, let me turn this back off and just see. Yeah, I think we're going to be quickest doing, let me try 91 because that'll make it go to 92. Let's see what these look like. Statistics. Nah, it's definitely not worth it for that. Just keep it at 90. 90 is definitely the way to go. I and mean, we can... Here, let me even try something like like 88. Which will technically be like... It's still going to like 92 before it even works, it looks like. Now it's doing 88. At closer to a second. 
89 actually that actually drops off a lot that is more efficient I should actually be looking at how much per minute shouldn't I because that'd probably tell me how effective it is right that's probably actually giving me completely the answer I'm looking for so like for example if we come back to break infinity turn that off how much are we getting you can see how much less we're getting we're getting like half with that so that was 4.45 so if I come in here and we pop this back up to I'm literally terrible in these menus bring that back on and then go to oh man it's in here I gotta use this thing in here put this back to 90 90 and we come to statistics yeah it's getting less so 88 was more effective but what if we drop it down to like 86 and just see what happens is that better than what we're getting there it is so how low do I actually want to be? How low is good? I'll go down by two each time, I guess, and test. Oh my god, we're getting so much more. You guys are probably like screaming at me. Some of you guys probably already wrote comments. If you already did, leave your comment. <laughs> Let me know you've heard to this point because I bet some of you guys have already wrote up how this works and what I should be setting this to you. So for example, let me just, for haha, like drop this down to like 60. So we're getting a lot less. The percent's actually technically higher because we're cashing in. We're actually cashing this in almost the same speed we were doing it before. And even though it's set to 60, we're still doing it at like 70. And so it's actually jumping around a little bit on the exact. But that's like 4. Point, let's say 4.1. We'll go on the low end here. Let me see what happens if I drop to 50. Um, no. 50 is too low. And that was on 60 before, right? 60 gives me like a 4.1 or so, it's like 65. Again, I'm just gonna try to play around with this to try to get like the most efficient. 65 looks to be given roughly the same because it's actually doing a little more. So 70. It's still doing the same. It's having like an issue and just doing it at 77. Like if I but if I set it to 77. It's doing it higher and possibly the same efficiency, but now it's back up to like the 80s. It might be just because we're getting more that I'm getting a kind of mixed sample. Because now, what if I set it back to 86? No, that shuts it down because that goes like 88. So, what was 80 again? Maybe 80 is the way to go, or 80 might be actually a little lower. It's hard to find. What's the calculation? There's got to be a way to figure out what you should be setting this to. I'm going to leave it at 80 because I feel like that's decent and it's getting roughly what we were getting before. Uh, maybe it's a little worse than what we were getting, actually. What if we do, like, 78? I don't know. Something roughly around there. But we're keeping it, like, at a second here. Um, but I'm curious. What What is the plan? What is What is the plan? What should we be aiming for? We're getting this a ton. I don't really know what I should be buying inside of the Break Infinity in order to what and how much I should be upgrading my Autobotter stuff. I want to max them all out or get, like, I don't know if there is a max, but I want to get them all to, like, the same, like, same, you know, point here, obviously. Um, which at this point is a little, a little rough, but I mean, we're climbing up really fast. We're coming up really fast. These are actually still relatively cheap. We'll go up to the next one on them. Let's try to get them even. Oh, we're out. That happened fast. That happened really fast. So did that mess with my statistics much? Not really. It dropped it down a little bit by the looks of it. But as this builds back up, we'll be fine again. Okay. Um, I'm still really confused. This is a little overwhelming because there's a whole new skill tree. And then again, we have this at some point down the road, <laughs> which is farther dead, for, you know, much farther down. But uh, a bunch of stuff in here. Power up all dimensions based on the amount of... Um, okay passive I mean there's just so much passive stat based on your fastest infinity 150 every so that's just even more passive although it does it so fast on its own it doesn't even really need to be passive what's the point of fixing this as well too and at some point I'll be able to reach that which I'm assuming is good I'm very excited to hear responses from you guys I know this is a longer episode I'm I feel like we didn't even accomplish a ton I'm sitting here confused um <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I think we're at a good state, though. What if I hold M? Does it go any faster? Yeah. Oh, my God. Look when I hold M. Look at that. That's crazy. Compared to our five, it's like double if I hold M. I'm not, not going to hold really M much, so... We're not going to be getting that much, but um, yeah, what should I be doing? It'll probably be a couple days before I actually get on and record again. Um, again, this is not a daily series, guys. This is going to be bouncing around, um, you know, three, four times a week probably. Who knows? Maybe five occasionally, depending on how, you know, in and out I go from it. But I'm probably going to wait to hear from comments before I have work on the next video. Um, and normally I record a video, get it, like, edited and ready to go up, and then, um, and then I upload it for the next day. So it's... It's like a two-day process to get a video up most of the time. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm very curious. Explain this to me a little bit if you can. Um, try to keep the <laughs> – if they're going to be long paragraphs like sometimes you guys do. I love it. I do read them through. But try to format it a little decent so I can see it. I'll probably end up having to look into this a little bit on my own, uh, which I try not to do. Um, and I really haven't looked into looked into much before other than kind of what you guys have given me and just kind of my experimenting because I am enjoying this. And I think we've kind of figured out the – the um the amount to put this at but I'm curious also I wonder if setting this oh man I just have a whole new thing plus these which I don't know if I should be messing with those at all um, but that might be slowing me down a little bit too I'm wondering, guys, what is the calculations for all of this stuff? Is it is it simple? Like, what is what is kind of the plan? Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please take a second to smack the like button. I really do appreciate it, guys. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.